What's up, everybody? So, this morning, started my day off like I always do. Had some cappuccino, did some Bible study. Yeah, I drink cappuccino. Can't drink coffee, leaves a terrible taste in your mouth. Anyway, did that. Then I got on the treadmill to walk. So I gotta get in better shape. In the last game we had, I broke a few ribs, so I can't run. But I also gotta get in shape, so I'm walking on a treadmill. Luckily, you can only see my face because I'm walking on the, my butt went down. I'm walking on the treadmill in sandals, flip-flops. Okay, I walk on the treadmill in flip-flops, don't judge me. But anyways, it's like I said, walking on the treadmill because I got to get back in shape. After this, I'm going to cryotherapy, which I've never been to before. Apparently you get in it and pretty much freezes you. It's supposed to be a recovery deal. Um, but it's called Cry. It's got Cry in the name, Cryotherapy, which is a little bit concerning, okay? But that's not what I'm going to talk about. Here's what I'm going to talk about. When people see something that they think has value, like a business, okay, let's do Snapchat all the social medias. Somewhere along the line, people saw that those had value, okay? So what do they do with those? When you see something of value, they invest in them. They put money into them. They put their time into them because they think it's important and it'll pay off later, okay? Well, let me tell you something. You're valuable. Your body is valuable. Your mind is valuable. So why would you not invest in those things, right? So if you invest in your body, in your mind, you start to feel better. You start to look better. You start to think better. And those are important. You gotta look at it like this. If there's a business, okay, they invest in themselves. They do things the right way. They're efficient. They understand what they have is valuable. They have good communication. They know what their values are in their business and they're ran the correct way. What happens is the business itself becomes a better place, okay? People are under less stress. So the business treats its employees better. When the tr employees are treated better, the customers are treated better, okay? So now it starts at the top. You got a good business, understand what it's doing, invest in itself, okay? Which makes a better experience for the employees, makes a better experience for the customers. Same thing with you. When you invest in yourself, you invest in your mindset, you feel better. Number one, your body's in better shape, your mind's in a better place. You start treating people around you better, okay? In return, they start treating you better because you become a positive person. So now you're better, they're better. So when there's value in you, you invest in yourself, you treat people around you better. In return, they start treating you better. And all of a sudden, you'll start to notice that the world around you becomes a brighter place. Right, it becomes a better place. Simply because you took time to invest in yourself. Okay, hold up. Does anybody else feel weird after getting off a treadmill? I'm just walking on the ground and I feel like it's supposed to be sliding underneath me. It's weird. On my way to do this cryotherapy and I'm trying to decide if there's any prepping I should do for this, you know? Should I have my heaters just blasting in my pickup so I get out hot? and then I'll be looking forward to freezing? Or do I go ahead and get a cold in here so I can adjust to the cold? So then it's just cold on cold and it's not a big deal either. These are things to think about. So, I survived, and it was pretty cold, like that was it, it was just cold, 
Being an athlete, I've taken many ice baths in my day. Usually in an ice bath, you sit for 10 to 15 minutes. I was only in there three minutes. And the air and stuff is just cold and it's not water, so you're not wet. So literally you could go in there, wear what you want to wear for the day, do that, get dressed and still be ready to go. And you're not soaking wet and freezing, having to take a shower and like do all that stuff. So I really like that aspect of it. It's a lot more efficient. However, I will say this, it's a lot more expensive than an ice bath. But still, does it work? To be determined. But I like the concept of it and I like that better than the alternative things like taking an ice bath. So, I found this. I'm gonna put this on and wait for the little people to get back from school. Thank you. 